we present Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> Gildersleeve has made it a point to drop by regularly for a lump with the twins and a chat with his niece. Come on in the living room, Auntie, and sit down. Yeah, I think I'd better. The twins wore me out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Ronnie stretched your new knit tie. You know, it's only down to my knees. Because he's been watching Tarzan pictures on television. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's Ronnie. What's he doing now? Well, he's fixing his toy truck. That should fix it. <laughs> now, I better investigate. I don't want him to break Bronco's new hammer. This is the second one he's had to buy recently. <laughs> Little Ronnie broke a hammer? No, Linda wrecked the first one. Oh? She saw it off the handle. Hey, excuse me, Auntie. You go right ahead, my dear. Oh, why don't you look at a magazine? Yeah. Mm. Look at the stack of home magazines. She reads all these. She never finds time to run her home. Yeah, they should have colorful ads in these things. Good-looking cake. Good-looking girl putting on the icing, too. Here's an interesting article. Helpful hints make happy homes. Say, written by a businessman. Helpful hints make happy homes. I'll put Ronnie and his hammer outside, Uncle. Yeah, good. Reminds me, I'm reading a very interesting article. The one you and Bronco might well look into. Oh? It says, helpful hints make happy home. Oh, well, Bronco and I don't need any hints for happiness. Well, here's an idea you can use. A suggestion box in the home. Just like they have in some office. A suggestion box? You know, you see ways to improve things around the house? Drop your suggestion in the box. But we don't need a suggestion box. Well, I can think of a few things around here that could be improved. Oh? What's Ronnie up to now? Oh, he's pounding on the downspout outside the window. <laughs> he just loves noise. Now, you were saying something about suggestions around here? Hey, you might buy Ronnie a rubber-nosed hammer. I'm sorry if he annoys you, Auntie. <laughs> yeah, I have a good suggestion for a Bronco. Oh, really? He often leaves his car out at night. Cars should be in garages. And while I'm on the subject, Mark. Yes? Why don't you clean out some of these old magazines? Looks like a doctor's office. All right, and you can help. Me? You like the suggestion box idea so well, I'd like to give you the magazine. Well, thank you. I'll try the idea at my house. That's a good suggestion. Playing in the vacant lot. Yeehaw! <laughs> Ooh, that should get him. Even if he's in the next county. Put it in the kitchen. In my kitchen? There's nothing personal, Bertie. We'll 
empty the box every evening at dinner and digest the contents. You're going to make a pizza? <laughs> You know what I mean. We'll take the suggestions in the proper spirit and be governed accordingly. Oh, gosh, I'm going to need suggestions. Leroy, you're fighting this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about my little plan, Bertie? Oh, I like the plan. It's too bad we don't need it. <laughs> How's that? I think everything's going very smooth around here, Miss Gilfleet. Yeah, me too. Well, that's the trouble. We've gone without a suggestion box for so long, we don't think we need it. Miss Gilsey, if, if you'll excuse me, I'll go take the wash off the line. Hey, Bertie, you just put it on the line. Yes, sir. Excuse me, too, Uncle. I, I should go and do something. No, wait a minute. <laughs> We're going to stay right here and thrash it out. And I want no interruption. Okay. Now, I'll get an empty cigar box. And... Ed, ma'am. Excuse me, there's Ed, ma'am. Hey, Bertie, he can wait. I'll cut a slot in the cigar box. Ed, ma'am. You want me to go on? No. Ed. We heard you, Mr. Cooley. I wanted to be sure. I didn't want to interrupt anything, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yes, yes. I always respect the privacy of my customers. Hello, Leroy. Hi. I want you to think of me as a good aide. <laughs> Great. Now, let's get back to... Hello, Bertie. Hi, Miss Cooley. I'm fine, thank you, but Mrs. Cooley has a slight cold. She got caught out in the rain. Yes, too bad, Cooley. Now, Leroy, Bertie. Mrs. Cooley was chasing young turkeys at the time. <laughs> you shouldn't leave young turkeys out in the rain, you know. We know. Now then, back to the suggestion box. You shouldn't leave your wife out in the rain either. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cooley, we're having a family conference, if you don't mind. I don't mind. I'll put the eggs in the refrigerator. Thank you, Mr. Cooley. Now, for the suggestion box to work, the entire family has to use it. Installing a family suggestion box, are you? Zeke. Hey, now, before we get stuck with the box, why don't we put it to a vote? A vote? But you and Bertie are against? I know. Let's vote. <laughs> but that's two to one. I'll vote on Mr. Gildersleeve's side. What? We have a suggestion box at the chicken farm. It's a very fine thing. Yeah, you see, Leroy? The day we put it in, we got twice as many eggs. Really? Uh, of course, that was the same day we got twice as many hands. <laughs> well, I still vote for the suggestion, Bob. You can't vote, Mr. Cooley. You're not a member of the family. Yeah, he's practically a member of the family. The vote is two to two. It wasn't voted down, so the suggestion box goes in. How do you like that? It's still all the truth. <laughs> suggestions to go in the box for Leroy, and four for Bertie. Now, before I leave the office, I'd better write some for my drink. Yeah, Judge Hooker, <laughs> maybe if I'm quiet, he'll go away. Now, where is the water commissioner? Persistent old duffer. Oh, there you are, Gilda, at your desk. The last place I expected to find you. You're yeah, all right, Judge. I'm working. Do you mind if I put my packages on your desk? Thank you. Judge, what in the world do you have in these sacks? I bought these for the children. Have an apple, Junior? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, they look delicious. To whom are you writing notes? They are notes, Judge. These are for the suggestion box at home. Oh, you have a suggestion box now. I suppose this was your idea. Naturally. I'm just jotting down some helpful hints for Leroy and Bertie. And Marjorie. <laughs> I wonder what will happen when they give some hints that might help you. Judge, I've encouraged them to make all the suggestions about me they see fit and drop them in the cigar box. Oh, you won't need a cigar box, Gilda. Yeah, thank you. You need a piano box. Wouldn't surprise me either. That 
for sure. Well, yeah, let's see what we have here. I'll empty the box on the table and pass out the suggestion. Gosh, a lot of them. That box is loaded. Well, here's one for you, Leroy. Thanks a million. <laughs> Unfold it and read it. Okay. This is how... No, 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 no. Read it to us, Leroy. Read this to everybody? Well, if you want to read that one, here's another one. Yeah? What does that one say? It says... It would be very helpful to all concerned if a certain little boy <laughs> wouldn't track mud on the rug. Uh-uh. Hey, that's easy. It ain't raining. <laughs> well, let's let it be a guide for the future. Now, Bertie, here's a little suggestion for you. Me? Bertie ain't done nothing. I'm here. You can get criticized for that. <laughs> no, sir. Bertie ain't done nothing. Bertie's in the clear. Read the suggestion, Bertie. Yes. It will be very helpful to all concerned if Bertie cleans up the mud after Leroy tracks it in. <laughs> Signed, Miss Killisley. Hey, Bertie, he's got us coming and going. <laughs> no, that wasn't bad, was it? No, sir, but I've got one question. Who tracked in mud the other day when it hadn't even rained? Yeah. Well, I was out inspecting a broken water main and... Let's get to the next suggestion. <laughs> you, I don't pass them all out. Here's one to Leroy. Here's one to Bertie. Leroy. Bertie. Bertie. Leroy. 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 Oh, brother. That's all. I don't see any for me. Heck no. I'm not going to stick my neck out. Me neither. Now, wait a minute. We aren't cooperating. Bertie, you and Leroy must try to think of helpful hints for me, too. I'm not 100% perfect. We know. <laughs> what? But we wouldn't dare suggest the things that are wrong with you. No, sir. Why not? Gosh, I wouldn't think of having a complaint about you, huh? You're the head of the house. Well. And you pay my allowance. And my salary. Oh. Now, look, there's no reason for you to think I'd hold it against you. But if you're worried about that, you don't have to sign the suggestion. We don't? Just print them, put them in the cigar box, and nobody will know who submitted them. Oh, boy, where's some paper and pencil? How about that? That's all for me, too, Leroy. Mm. I wonder if I will need a piano box. Time to think up any suggestions for improving the little family. Oh, well, I guess Freddie and Leroy will have one or two for me. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Cooley. Still delivering eggs? No, sir. I delivered the hen this time. <laughs> the hen? Bertie ordered a roasting hen. Oh. Mr. Gildersleeve, I just saw your suggestion box. It is? Your cigar box isn't big enough. Oh. The hen isn't the only one we'll get a roasting tonight. <laughs> Family starts overdoing this, we may not have a suggestion box very long. Hi, how come I'm waiting for you? Hello, Leroy. Let's open the suggestion box. Yeah, we'll do that after dinner, my boy. Well, let's do it before dinner. Why wait to improve ourselves? Don't push me. I haven't even taken off my hat. Hey, there's a suggestion. Take off your hat in the house. Yes, yes. Come on back to the kitchen, Uncle. Leroy, stop tugging. We can't interrupt Bertie while she's preparing dinner. Don't mind me. Chelsea, but I got you the red eyes for the night. Mine didn't brought over some suggestions for you. Great. Hey, here's one on the table. It fell out. Ooh, box is overflowing. I'll knock them all out. Are these all for me? You set your eyes and take one. Yeah, anyone. Well, if you insist on getting into this before dinner, here you go. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, let's see. Seems for me, all right. Well, read it out loud like you made us do. Yeah, I will, I will. It says, no matter if the food tastes good, I suggest only one helping of everything at dinner if you really want to lose weight. <laughs> well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Darn good suggestion, too. Thanks, Bertie. How'd you know it was for me? It wasn't for him. <laughs> Bertie, you're going to have to sign another one. Yeah, this one looks interesting. It says, uh, 
suggest you do your Christmas shopping early before all the good bikes are gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to consider that. Say, this is fun. But you're not really being critical of me. There's a lot more, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad everybody's cooperating on this project. Glad I thought of the idea. Well, right, George, I know how to run a household. Yeah, let's see. I think I'll read this one. The best suggestion, if you want to know, is to... Is to whoop. Why'd you stop? Well... Can you read it, Miss Gilsey? Yes, yes, I can read it. Excuse me. I think I'd better go up and get ready for dinner. Yes, him. Yes. to write this to me. The best suggestion, if you want to know, is to take your suggestion box and blow. <laughs> they want to get rid of the suggestion box and me too, huh? Right, George, I'm going to find out who wrote that poem. Very tactless of someone. Could have been Marjorie. She didn't like it a bit yesterday when I suggested her twins were too noisy with their hammer. Oh, hello, Auntie. Hello, Marjorie. Oh, it's nice to see you. I wonder if it really is. Come on in. Here, yeah, thank you. You came at a good time. Oh? The twins are asleep, and uh, I put away their hammer. Oh, that. Well, my dear, I... I guess I asked for the suggestion you put in the box for me. Which one? You mean there are more? Well, I put in several. Well, this happens to be the first one I came to. Yes. Marjorie, have you written much poetry since the days you used to write love sonnets to Bronco? Well, you know I've always had a flair for writing verse, Auntie. Well, you probably were just kidding with your suggestion. Oh, no, I was serious about every one. You were? Then you really did write this. Write what? The best suggestion, if you want to know, is to take your suggestion box and blow. <laughs> Marjorie. <laughs> what's so funny about it? Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> she, she must have written it. Or did she? I've got this bag packed, and I'm going on a trip. And I won't say when I'm coming back. 
Let them worry about how they'll get along without me.